Western institutions were celebrated this afternoon at the Strand Theater, country music star Hank Williams, and the Louisiana Hayride. A huge group of local musicians played the legend's hits, while the history of the Louisiana Hayride radio show's influence was brought to life. NBC6 reporter Morgan Thomas has a story. Hank Williams died almost 60 years ago, but his music is alive and well. His daughter, Jet, knows just how important Shreveport was to her dad. This is where they came to, were, were able to uh, get worldwide uh, radio exposure. Williams is considered the first big star in Louisiana Hayride, a radio show broadcast from here that gained national notoriety. They were big players in the rock and country music scene during the 1950s. The music and the venue were brought to life by local musicians, Williams' family, and the cast of the new Hank Williams movie, The Last Ride. It's fun to revisit, you know, places and go, oh, okay, well, this was a big part of his life. A packed house here at the Strand Theater shows how timeless Hank Williams was as a man and a musician. 13-year-old Matthew Davidson is one of his young fans and got to take center stage playing Hank Williams' music on his electric guitar. Probably move it on over because, you know, it's just a real rockin', a real rockin' song. The teen musician honored to play some of his favorite songs by the country legend. You know, just respect the people that you've been for and then, you know, try to carry on the legacy, you know, that they left behind you. Hank Williams and the Louisiana Hayride continue to impact country music today. Look at who got their starts here, Hank Williams, uh, Elvis Presley, you know, all, all of these greats that that have changed uh, the course of uh, whether it be rock and roll or country music. Morgan Thomas, NBC6 News. The Louisiana Hayride radio show was eventually aired on TV. It was considered the stepping stone to the Grand Ole Opry for country music stars.